morning guys i'm just about to head into shoreditch to meet a couple of the girls from uni because we have exams next week so we're gonna have a little study day together we have pre-release materials so we're all sort of just preparing things that we might say for that and like trying to figure out what the legal issues or like what we're going to be asked from the pre-released pre materials. Currently Friday and I have two more exams to prepare for. I prepared for two this week so yeah I also think I'm probably going to end up doing some of the work after the exams next week because the exams are only like 50 minutes long I think so yeah I have time but obviously I'd like to get probably another exam prepared for today. I think I'm going to do depth finance today which is my least favourite and I also did the least well on the MCQs so I need to do the most well in the long form exam for this one. I need to head in now because I think I'm running a little bit late. It's been really nice for me to get out of the house and study with my friends and like yeah have like a thing to go to to get me in the zone. <laughs> I'm now back home. It's Monday. I think I last filmed on Friday but we ended up going out on Friday night which I was gonna film but I completely forgot and today is the day of my first exams. I've got my M&A exam today at 10 a.m. I think it opens and it's like a 55 minute exam with the pre-release materials that I mentioned before so we're gonna get some more materials released I think and then a question or like a few questions and a sort of thing to do in relation to that in 55 minutes so yes it's currently 8 a.m and i'm going to do some reading over of the notes that i've made already so the stuff that i've written from the pre-release materials that i've kind of like guessed that the question will be on hopefully some of it will be copy and pasteable into my answer and then i'm just going to also read the pre-release materials because i think there were quite a few pages of it there was um share purchase agreement so i'm going to read through all of that again and make sure that i'm like super familiar with it before starting so yes that is the plan of action this morning and then we will be doing some more work this afternoon as well <laughs> first exam out of the way I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit pushed for time the stuff that I prepared for wasn't really the stuff that came up um so it's not necessarily what I was expecting to come up from the pre-release materials that I'd looked at and prepared stuff for so there wasn't a whole lot of copying and pasting from the stuff I had prepared into the exam answer but that is fine I think it was fine basically I need to get 50% overall to pass this assessment and I've already done multiple choice questions for each of these uh, four topics that we have exams on and I did well in the MCQs for M&A so I need very few marks to actually pass the whole thing so I'm not too stressed like I do think that was definitely a pass but yeah not my best work but I'm glad that I have the first exam over with now and I am just gonna head out to lunch with my mum because I'm back home for a few days and I obviously haven't seen my mum in a little while so we're gonna go grab some lunch at this really nice cafe that I love to go to when I'm home and then when I get back I'm gonna need to do the prep for my listed companies exam which is tomorrow which I have done no prep for so yeah and I didn't do as well in my MCQs for listed companies so it's actually probably more important that I do prep for my listed companies exam. I'm glad I've got the first one done and then I have one on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well all at 10am so I need to prepare this afternoon. <laughs> 
go for a run i've been sat down for far too long and the weather is absolutely stunning outside so i think i'm just gonna go for a nice little 5k to the park and hopefully when i get back my brain juices will be flowing again i have done some editing because i have a video that needs to go up tomorrow and yeah i've just been working on my listed companies exam basically i've had some dinner i think it must be nearly like 8 p.m i'm not actually sure half seven i feel like i just need to get away from my desk have a little break do some exercise it's definitely gonna make me feel a lot better and then i will get back to it <laughs> just about to get into bed for the evening excuse the mess behind me i feel like i'm always so messy when i come home because i'm always sort of living out of a bag or a suitcase and i just everything becomes a mess when i come home i have a final few edits to make to the video that i was editing a little book update before i go i'm currently reading maya angelou's i think this is the fourth book in her seven book autobiography that is my current read which i'm going to do a little bit of reading off before i go to bed but yes i'm going to sign the video off here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video a quick word from today's sponsor squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online you can create beautiful websites engage with your audience and sell anything from products and services to content. I've launched my website using Squarespace and they make it so easy to create designs tailored to you. I've created an online store to sell my ebooks. It was easy to put together a professional looking website and Squarespace offers analytics making it easy to sell products and services. I've also linked my social media accounts to display my content on my website and you can create mailing lists and enable blogging and commenting features on Squarespace to build and engage your community. Squarespace.com slash Liberty Miles to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain with code Liberty Miles.